Good morning, everybody. It is early morning and I am about to get ready to go and, well, I'm not about to get ready. I'm filming this early in the morning so I could, you know, get it over and done with, <laughs> so to speak, only because I have a few things to do before I go meet my friend for lunch today. We are going to a lovely uh, seaside cafe and it's been booked in, so gorgeous day out it is beautiful the sun is out obviously the birds are chirping and we are going to be out by the sea so i thought i'd film a video that would capture the essence of the seaside cafe l to md spf 46 sunscreen this is a tinted version i just do a pump of that and put it all over the face and i'm just looking directly into a mirror here and also just under the eyes I love this cream because it doesn't sting my eyes if you tend to sweat. It's non-irritating. It's such a pleasure to use and I am on my final bottle so um, I will repurchase this again and making sure just to get a half pump and put it down the neck as well. I'm just going to get eyebrows done out of the way first. Just filling my brows in with the Milk Makeup Cush Fiber Brow Gel. I nearly ordered online, now that there's a Sephora sale happening at the moment, the Dip Brow, the Brow Pomade by Anastasia um, by ABH because, I don't know, but the thing is I heard that the pot does tend to dry up quickly, so that was the only reason I didn't end up buying it. But do you guys have it and what do you think about it? I don't think I can switch from going to such a good product to something that's going to take a little bit more time to do my brows. This just is so easy to do if there was one thing that i could leave out of my makeup routine it would be eyebrows because i just find it the most less exciting thing to do i don't know do you guys feel the same or do you love doing your brows let me know i have a few products that i'm going to be using in terms of warming up the face and giving it a nice glow and i'm going to be mixing the um, debronzy drunk elephant drops with the pat mcgrath skin fetish foundation with the pat mcgrath so these two together the deep bronzy drops and the pat mcgrath skin fetish foundation i'm going to be mixing these two together just mixing these together damp beauty sponge and just work the product into the skin might zoom you guys in a little bit because I feel that you might be a bit too far so I'm working the product down to the neck as well. With the remaining product, just put it over the eyelids. I did forget that I do have some concealer that I'm using, the Milk Makeup Future Fluid uh, Concealer. So I'm just going to be putting maybe just two drops, not two drops, but two dots, one on each side. It's very potent, so only a little bit goes a long way. And then with the same beauty sponge, just blend that in. You just you don't want to apply too much concealer because then you don't want to have that stark white brightening effect and this bronzy glowy contrast it just looks a bit weird I'm just going to lightly powder my face with the Kosas cloud set powder just a really light dusting. If 
for bronzing I'm going to be using just one product and it's going to be the Fenty bronzer in private island I'm going to be putting that over the eyes and on the cheeks so with a fluffy brush I'm using just a big fluffy brush picking up that bronzer and pretty much dusting that all over the eyelid up to the brow bone Just a simple wash of colour. And just deepen up the outer edges with the same fluffy brush just for a bit of dimension. You really can just whack this on and be so unprecise with it because it's, you don't want that perfect look. Now with a flat shader brush, I'm just picking up that same bronzing shade and dusting that same bronzer underneath the eye. Now for a bit of magic, I'm pulling out the Fenty How Many Carrots All Over Body Highlighter, this one here. And what I'm going to be doing is, with the same flat shader brush, I'm picking up the highlighter. I'm dusting that on the, on the lid. Now, how gorgeous is that? If you want to have more impact with the um, sparkle, just spray the brush after you've dipped in, give it a spray and then put it on for a more wet effect. This has got to be one of the best highlighters ever made and it's just it's just magical now you can go in and put some eyeliner if you want inside the eyes but i'm going to be skipping the eyeliner today i'm just going to be putting on lashings and lashings of the tarte surfer curl mascara and I've never actually used this product before so I'm going to just switch off the camera and come back and show you the eyes already done um, I'm going to use top and bottom lashes and then yeah but um, the surfer curl by Tarte I'm going to give it a whirl I'm not that actually impressed with the surfer curl mascara it did take me a good 10 minutes to do both of my eyes to build it up um, I don't know what do you guys think about this one is it good the formula and I mean I don't know the brush seems beautiful it's so comfortable it just it hugs your lashes when you're when you're putting it on but um, I don't know I think it's more of a feathery soft look for for mascara what do you guys think anyway moving on we're gonna bronze the rest of the face and I'm just gonna be using a contouring buffing brush and just going to sculpt the face and bronze at the same time a good dupe for this um, Fenty private private island shade is the Colourpop in private party which is a really good dupe for also the big Marc Jacobs um, Tantastic so they're also great products to use I never ended up buying the um, Tantastic by Marc Jacobs um, I think I just went with the dupe from Colourpop because I heard that was the next best thing so I ended up just 
buying that and um, saving a whole heap of dollars. Why, why spend so much more when you can just get a dupe from Colourpop, right? I'm gonna be highlighting my face with the High Glass by NYX. The Daytime Halo High Glass Illuminating Powder by NYX. I'm gonna be just doing a bit of highlighting. For blush, I'm using the RMS shade in Beloved. It's a cheek and lip tint in the shade Beloved. It's a gorgeous uh, pinky red. To use that, I'm actually using just my middle finger to dab just the tiniest amount. Like, like that much. And just patting that in Dabbing that in just to the apples of the cheeks. I'm putting that on the lips. going to build up the colour a bit more. So this is the completed look with the face. Kind of curled my hair during the week and um, Usually when I go to sleep, I just put it in like a little high pineapple top bun and uh, Yeah, so just basically it ends up kind of forming its own like loose waves and um, It's just perfect for also when you're going to be going to a, a place where it's near the sea um, It's already going to be a little bit um, mattified um, at the moment so um, the products that I used in my hair last night before I went to bed was just a was just a plain dry shampoo. I'll list the products in the description box below. But guys, that is the completed look. I hope you enjoyed this little seaside get ready with me and I will see you all again next time. Bye for now.